currently 9.58, that means in about 2 minutes time, Carlos region Pokemon is going to start spawning at 10 a.m. local time. So today is the day where Gen 6 is finally going to be released and I am quite psyched about that. Uh, it's a good thing I'm working from home today and as you can see I'm still in my PJs. Uh, <laughs> after this we're going to go out uh, maybe during the break time, uh, lunch time in this case, to see what kind of Carlos region Pokemon we're going to be able to get. It's 10 o'clock right now. Okay, we already start having Pokemon spawning in the wild. We have Fennekin, Chespin, Bano B. Uh, we have this one. I uh, forgot what's his name. Okay, uh, we're going to put an instance down because, you know, we want to lure in all those Pokemon and try to see wh what we can get for today. And since this is basically the first ever Carlos region Pokemon that we're going to get, uh, oh my god, the first one's not it. <laughs> I haven't even had my breakfast yet. I had, you know, this. I'm guessing we're just gonna chill here for now until we get our first ever Carlos region uh, spawn. This is gonna be a short episode-ish. It's not really a, it's not really an adventurous ep episode because we just want to see how many of the new Pokemon we can get on the first few hours, right? Hmm. Apparently, there's also a new special research that an interesting development. Wow. Okay, that's an interesting name. <laughs> so for the egg pool, right? For the two, five, and ten km eggs, uh, they actually added the Gen Six Pokemon into it. The starters are going to be inside five km eggs. Uh, I think for two km eggs, they did add a couple, but I'm not quite sure which Pokemon. But the ten km eggs, that's the one where we're looking for. They actually added Esper, which you can get from Raid, and Noibat. So Noibat is actually one of my uh, favorite Pokemon from Carlos region because well it evolves in Noivern. Who doesn't love Noivern, right? Here it is guys, our first ever Carlos region Pokemon. Oh Fletchling! So this one is actually really cool because it will turn uh evolve into Talonflame later on. But oh damn! I was hoping it was gonna be a starter, but you know, I'll take it. Hey, here we go! Fletchling in the Pokedex, guys. Wow, that's a lot. What <laughs> look at that? Pokemon caught new Pokemon. I haven't had new Pokemon in a while, man. First day of the cat, first catch of the day. Streak bonus, curveball throw, first throw. Wow, 16k. If only I had a lucky egg on, you know. Here we go, Pokedex entry. Very nice. And we have one Fletchling Candy XL. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, it seems like not a lot of Carlos spawns is coming out because it took me 15 minutes for that Fletchling to appear. But in the meantime, there's actually a couple of things to go through, right? So we actually have a Carlos celebration event quest as well. Transfer five Pokemon, give your buddy treat, treats and other stuff. And there's also there's a Legacy 40 challenge. So if you guys know that currently I'm already level 40, uh, going on to level 41, this one will be in another episode. But Things to do, power out a legendary Pokemon, which we can do. Win 30 raids. Now this one's gonna take a while, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna rush it or I'm gonna play it casually, but we will eventually get to level 41, 42, and 43 because my total amount EXP can reach to 43 from what I know. So yeah, uh, we're gonna take our time with that in the next few episodes. Okay, what's this, what's this? It's a new one. Oh no, why does it look like it's new just now? <laughs> I guess I'm just too excited, guys. We're doing a Kyurem raid right now uh, while waiting for my second Carlos Pokemon. Uh, I've been waiting for nearly 47 minutes already since it started. 1996, oh, I assume that's really bad. Win 30 raids, I win 1 out of 30 raids. Uh, that's gonna take a while. I'm not sure if this can be a shiny Pokemon, but if it is, then that would be great. But, you know, for the time being, Kyurem is still Kyurem. I only caught like three the last time it came out. I was really busy that week. But if I'm not mistaken, I did get a 98% Kyurem. Uh, when it came out, so uh, that was kind of cool. Alright guys, we are currently outside. We're going to be hunting for this new Carlos Pokemon. I really don't know what to expect and what kind of Pokemon we're going to get, but hopefully we can get the starters. That is the one thing I'm looking for. I really want that Froakie. My, my whole screen is just full of new Pokemon, so there has to be something that's here, right? Right, okay, I'm going to keep walking until we find something. Dude, guys! We found it! Okay, we found it, we found it. Fennekin, guys! We found Fennekin! Oh my god, look at that! It's so beautiful! 393. Okay, so I guess Fennekin will be my first starter Pokemon for the Carlos region. Although I like Froakie more than Fennekin, but, you know. Okay, cool. I didn't realize Fire-type Pokemon spawn more at my area. Don't run away. Oh my god, it ran away. GG, guys. It ran away. It's not a Gen 6 Pokemon, but it's a Snorlax. But why? 
Why is the Snorlax appearing now? Come on, I'm looking for Gen 6. It seems like Gen 6 is not really spawning that much. Like really, I've been walking past like a whole cluster of Pokemon. Only the Fennekin, that's all. Okay, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna catch the Snorlax because it's wasting my Pokeballs. The next Carlos Pokemon we have here. Bunnelby. So Bunnelby is actually quite a cool Pokemon. Unfortunately, when it evolves, uh, it's not really appealing. I don't know why they made him very macho, but I really like the Bunnelby form more than the evolved form of Bunnelby, which I can't remember the name right now. Now I think about it. I need to refresh all my Carl's Pokemon knowledge, you know. We caught our Bunnelby, guys. Yeah, Pokedex entry. Nice. All right, so, uh, ooh, <gasps> guys, Chespin. Yes. 100 CP Chespin. Okay, so Chespin is gonna be my, uh, if it doesn't run away, my first ever Carlos starter. So, uh, yeah. I wonder where am I gonna find Froakie, man. Come on, I want my Greninja. Okay, cool. Chespin in the Pokedex. Back to back. How nice. In the meantime, we're gonna keep walking around. Uh, yeah, I still need to look for this one. I think it's right here. Yeah, it's in front. Next one on the list. We have, I keep pronouncing it Lithio. It's actually Litlio. And when it evolves into Pyro, that one's quite badass actually. Yep, that's four Pokemon. Nice. Oh, it's been it's been so it's been such a long time since we found new Pokemons, you know. Okay, let me see if there's any eggs around that is hatching uh, Esper. But so far, 1228. Four more minutes. Four more minutes. Okay, so it seems like right now all the cluster is not spawning any more uh, Gen 6 Pokemon. So I'm just gonna walk one more big round, and then we'll see if we find anything else. So we actually have another deerling. This time it's a springtime. Well, no, sorry, it's not springtime. It's fall. Winter? Or is it? Huh. I can't tell which type is it. Is this a fall or is this the winter type deerling? All right, time for timber shiny check. I, I realized that I have to do 30 raids to evolve. Uh, to evolve. <laughs> wow, like I'm gonna evolve. I need to do 30 raids to get to level 41. And I think that's really gonna take some time. Uh, but, you know, uh, still no shiny timber. It's here, it's here. Fennekin's back. Fennekin's back. We have Fennekin again. Cool. Cool. This time, hopefully, it doesn't run away because after this, we still have Froakie to go. And I think there's still like a few more uh, Gen 6 Pokemon that's out, but we still haven't found it yet. Uh, but we will. We will. Please don't run away. Please don't run away. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Two? Two Fennekins in a row after the first ball. What the f- What is happening? Okay, I'm done with work. Right now, that's actually going to be a raid hour for Kyurem. And we're going to stack up as many raids as we can do because we need to do 30 and we are really far behind. So yeah, let's try to get as many Kyurem raids in and maybe we can find a starter Pokemon. You know, like Fennekin. Mm. I need to get my raid counter up for my leveling up quest. So we have a Lit Leo here. I guess it's better than the Kyurem raids, right? Because Kyurem raids, everyone already seen it. So Lit Leo is gonna go down within seconds. But uh, I think it's kind of neat because uh, my next quest for I think the Carlos research, they actually require me to catch a Lit Leo. And also not to mention if I can get a Hundo from this, that would be great. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a hundo. Was that 20 balls? Holy crap. I'm guessing this is not a hundo because I don't know, it's just, just speculation only. I still haven't found Fennekin yet or Froki, so I'm a little bit sad because I really want to get them before the end of this episode. Is it good? It's 15 attack, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, catch one little Leo for that. Uh, yeah, so let's check the quest here. It says catch a little Leo, I need to power up a Pokemon. So this Carlos region as a Carlos celebration event. You guys can't really see. This Carlos celebration event, you guys basically need to catch one of each. I think like that's Bunnelby, you need to catch Fletchling, you need to catch Litlio, you need to catch Froki, uh, Fennekin, and Chespin as well. Uh, yeah, so they're, and then they're going to reward you with like the Mega Charizard um, energy because apparently Mega Charizard X right now in the first half of December is boosted. Is it boosted or something? I don't know, it's stronger. And uh, yeah, so that's we're not really going to focus on that too much. Oh, there's another raid going on. So. Uh, I'm gonna still walk around and there's a Fennekin. Where is this? Ah, so far away. I gotta say, the timing for this is quite incredible. I was just about to exercise and then 
Esper, the brand new Kalos region Pokemon that is supposed to spawn in raids. Sadly, Noibat is not going to be in raids, only Esper, and they really hyped up Esper a lot. Like, there was, there was like a 48 hours countdown for it. I didn't understand it, like, but I do know that Esper can evolve into two different stages, male and female. It's the same Pokemon called Meowstic, uh, so you gotta get male and female to evolve both. I can't believe I used a remote raid pass for this. <laughs> but brand new Pokemon, we gotta use that remote raid pass, guys. Esper. Um, not quite sure what is the 100% IV for this. 692. Doesn't feel like 100% IV. Esper has been caught. Pokedex entry. How nice. I wonder what you must do to evolve Esper though. So, uh, yeah, to evolve it you need... So this is a male, so I can evolve it into a male meow stick. But I need to get a female to find out more about this. So, eh, the IV is a bit crap, but you know, I'll keep it for now. I'll keep it for now. Oh, I really want Froki. I think they really dialed down on Froki's uh, uh, spawn rate. Oh, look, Fletchling. Oh, wait, hold on. I caught a medal. Registered 5 Pokemon register. Uh, Discovered in the Kalos region, yeah, nice. And speaking of medals, uh, I think I didn't go through this just now. There's a lot of these medals, like platinum medals and stuff, and I'm, I realized that I'm really lacking. I only have like six platinum medals, and I'm on my way to get a few, like this one. I can't believe I never re walked 10,000. Like, I always run with my phone and catch Pokemon. Huh, I have a long way to go, guys. And there's also a lot of these types that I have never gotten platinum, I'm so surprised. But I'm not surprised too much on the dragon though, because dragon type Pokemon, they are not really easy to come by, you know? Anyway, yeah, so that'll be it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think on this whole new Carlos region Pokemon extravaganza, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care everyone, bye-bye.